some elements on Earth are naturally radioactive. When they're radioactive, it means an atom of these elements are unstable. And to become stable again, it has to emit radiation. An alpha particle is emitted, which consists of two protons and two neutrons, the same as a helium nucleus. Beta particles could be emitted, and these are fast-moving electrons. They are caused by a neutron changing into a proton inside the nucleus, not emitted from the shells of an atom. Gamma radiation could also be emitted. This is a high-frequency electromagnetic wave which travels at the same speed as light. Let's look at some nuclear decay equations which show what happens to the number of protons and neutrons when a nucleus decays. Because an alpha particle has a mass or a number of 4 and an atomic number of 2, the element that's left once it's been emitted has to have 2 less protons and overall 4 less protons and neutrons in its mass number. A nuclear decay equation looks something like this. So can you figure out what the missing numbers are for the atomic number and mass number of thorium? And if we look at the numbers of the atomic number and mass number on the left and the right hand side, we can see that uranium starts off with an atomic number of 92, and alpha particle has an atomic number of 2. So the difference between those numbers must be what's left in the thorium atom, and that happens to be 90. For the mass number, that has to go down by 4, because an alpha particle has a mass number of 4. So 235 minus 4 gives us 231. For beta decay, this is slightly trickier. The mass number of a beta particle is 0, and the atomic number is minus 1. That's not because there's a negative proton, but it's because there's actually a proton that becomes added to the nucleus in the process of beta decay. So in this example here, carbon-12 has decayed to form this new element, nitrogen. And if we look at the numbers again and try and figure out what the mass number and the atomic number of nitrogen might be, we can see that the atomic number has had to go up by 1 because there's a minus 1 on the beta particle. So actually this becomes 7, and now it balances the left and right-hand side. The mass number doesn't change because there's no mass number in the beta particle, so it remains at 12. You can also have gamma radiation being emitted, but they wouldn't have a nuclear decay equation for that because gamma particles do not have protons or neutrons affected by its emission.